Wow, and very ah. much keeping her mother's legacy alive, Linda and Paul's daughter, Mary McCartney, join us now. And it's really, really lovely to have you here. Um, you said that one of your sort of greatest childhood memories is of your mum in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. It is. It's um, basically when we became vegetarian, we talked about food a lot. And I think mum and dad were really um, keen to make sure we didn't feel we were lacking something. So there were always really good smells and food conversations. And she cooked, me. obviously, she cooked a lot in the kitchen. She'd cook a lot and then we'd help her cook. And it was always the most sort of fun, energetic part of the house. So it was always really positive. Did your dad cook as well? He, yeah, he would help prep. Very good at chopping things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Clearing up. Good at clearing up. <laughs> yeah. Actually, usually we would help clear up as well. We were good kids. Mm. But as we heard that, she, she wasn't always a vegetarian, was she, your mum? No. So there was that moment, that kind of turning point in her life where she yeah. thought, hang on a minute. I think what happened was um, when um, mum and dad be decided to become vegetarian and then they said to us, they kind of sat us down and said, we're all going to be vegetarian now. But you can eat it outside of home but at home we're gonna cook vegetarian food and it was always like how do you make it positive and not mm. feel like you're lacking anything so mm. we were always very proud of it but sometimes so when you go out it would be a bit dodgy but at home it was always exciting great meals so the rules didn't apply if you went out you could have you could eat meat if you yeah. were out yeah but we never did because we didn't miss it yeah and then of course when she started the uh, the business that was really quite risky at that time, mm. wasn't it? Well, mm. she was approached to start it because I think kind of what I've done as well, it's like it's not a career of being a vegetarian cook. It's more giving ideas to people. Yeah. Because they were like, we love all the food you're cooking. If I could cook like this, I'd then eat more I'd, vegetarian. Yeah. So then she was like, you can buy the burgers or the sausages or here's a cookbook. And so it, was a, it came from a really positive place. Mm. We're better at it now, I think, as well. Yeah. There's lots of wonderful vegetarian yeah. restaurants where you can go out and eat. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's the last 25 years, numbers of people who have a vegetarian lifestyle has doubled and, yeah. it's, and it's increasing. And when you look at what's in front of us now mm -hmm. and how delicious this is, and these are your recipes of yeah. your food blog, which you have, have brought in for us to try today. Yeah. I, um, I had gonna, friends I that were doing Meat Free Monday and they were like, we're doing Meat Free Monday but we're kind of trying to look for new ideas. So I um, had this idea of doing a food blog called P for Peckish and each week we post something new. So this was actually the I'm first post in. last year, which is asparagus and pea fritters, which you just put in a I'm gonna dip it in chili oh, dipping sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can just pick it up food. and dip it. So it's got and pea and asparagus. Pea and asparagus fritters, because asparagus mm. are in season now. And then Delicious. this, we always like barbecues at home and like that social, you know, barbecue yeah. summer thing. So these are yeah, um, kidney bean and uh, burgers, which have like a little bit of, they have a little bit of smoked paprika, which just makes adds a real sort of flavor kick to them so okay. and we'd always eat them with the buns and all the trimmings and pickles and mayo and your um and your parents managed to give you an incredibly normal childhood didn't they yeah and when you think how extraordinary it must have been and what was going on around them you didn't realize how iconic they were until yeah. much later on i think um you really sort of learn about yeah. your parents a lot more when you leave home. Mm. So kind of when I left home is when I sort of looked in on my family mm -hmm. a bit more. But um, I was always really proud, like really proud. When I see Dad play, mm. I was kind of Dad, and then we're kind of asking him to be quiet, and then you see him perform, and I'm like, oh my God, my dad quiet. is a rock icon. <laughs> you ask him to be quiet. Because well, sort of like when your kids at home, you don't appreciate it, do you? No, no, it's true. Well, it's but then when normally, I see it's, him... normally it's the parents shouting at the kids to shut up. <laughs> you saying, "Dad, for God's sake, keep it yeah. down." But with the food brand, when um, when Mum passed away, we sort of sat down as a family and we were like, "Are we going to keep being involved in this?" Mm. And now we're very um, with the whole vegetarian food thing. We're very. We, I work with Dad and Stell, and we sit down and we go it's through new fun. product development and. You know, it's a really good... We still talk... We're a family that like to talk about vegetarian How often food. do you all manage to get together? It's so delicious. We get together off as often as we can, and mainly, like, birthdays and Christmas and things like that. Birthdays are good because you're always allowed to pick whatever meal you want. What's on your you favourite meal list? I'm going to put it down because I'm going to would... <laughs> I love that you like it, though. Thank you. <laughs> it's really nice to just wear in the shot. You're not eating, you're That's not eating That's smoked paprika's good, though, isn't it? It adds it's a really, really good. nice... Yeah. It does with the bean. It's really good. Um, What's your... Yeah, your favorite vegetarian meal? I love I always go quite simple because my birthday's in the summer so I would always go for my mum's tomato soup which oh. has a little bit of rosemary in it which is lovely and probably a fresh pesto mm. and an ice cream cake oh. ice cream cake yeah what's yeah. that one year I asked for a rainbow cake and my mum 
dutifully iced like about seven different colours and so now it's like a joke in our family, I rainbow cake. Because mm. you were um, obviously a photographer, so yeah. do, you take a, do you take a lot of, because when, when I'm you notice that... I'm a portrait photographer, like, right, I take okay, pictures so of people usually. Do you do, well, not, not with people do with burgers in their mouths? No, I'm not for the food blog. <laughs> no, but for P for Peckish, I do the food picture, so I test the recipe, I do it, and then I take a picture of it. But I wouldn't... Because that's a real skill. When a, you, uh, when you, you very... take pictures of your food, you know, it's just Sunday lunch, you take all the yeah. things, I'll send this to the girls, you know, I always off, forget you know, yeah. whatever, take it and think, oh, it looks nicer like that. And I, I know, and then it food's good. not easy to photograph. Um, but but I, um, no, I, I mainly take pictures of people. I like going on adventures and meeting new people. Yeah. And, Feed them afterwards. Oh, well, they'd love oh, that. Um, it's uh, it's lovely to have you. Yeah, here. thank really you very is. much thank indeed. Thank you very and much. Yeah, that's so Delicious. tasty. And you're saying that uh, that red cabbage is good for your brain. I might have some of this. No, do. Yeah, red cabbage. See the camera boy salivating yeah. over there, ready to get their mitts on this. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. And you're yeah, the last mermaid. I am the last mermaid. So you play her. Yeah. Who was who's that the first name on the sheet? Right. If we're going to do this, I am <laughs> the last. Mermaid. Plus, I want to be a mermaid. I've been wanting to be a mermaid all my life. <laughs> yeah, something like that.